9 a.m. start. 8:59 to be precise. Destination Harley. 16.5 degrees Celsius. Lovely. ये fourth village आ रहा है अब. कल पहले Spagmik, Man, Mirak, Khadi Ket क्या ये? Khadi Ket क्या नाम था ये भी? One kilometer. मुझे नहीं पता कहाँ जा रहा है ये आप आगे मिलोगे ये रोड ये जा रही है ना hey is this safe So we have taken this off-road trail. Abhinav was just saying that I have to do off-road trail. Of course, we will not be riding exactly alongside the Pangong, but the nearest hard-packed uh, dirt trail. That's what we will be trying to do for some time at least. Yes, I am following your line. Wow, man, what a view! This is completely coming to the right side, right? Mein aa gaya, na? अच्छा तो कह रहे हैं कि अब एक पैरेलल लाइन चलेगी इसके साथ ऐसा है क्या स्लोली स्लोली ओ यो 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 यहां फोटो खींचो फोती कला हाँ ओके ओ वाला लोकेशन मैन Yeah, yeah, worth it, worth it. What a view. Pehli baar we are actually near the lake. On a Friday morning, this is how you make your Fridays worth it. <laughs> Our tigers parked right alongside the Pangong Lake. And we are far off the commercial spots, which people frequent a lot. This is beyond the Mirak village. And the view and the colors of water, just lovely. Oh, yeah. Freezing cold. <laughs> Road कहाँ पे है? मेरे को direction समझाइयो. चल कहाँ से? ये यहाँ से पीछे से जा रहा है think मेरे को लग रहा है रास्ता हैं? Yes sir. नहीं 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 बहुत वो है वो लूज है इस रूट जैसे ही पहुंचेगा ना एक रेस्टोरेंट आएगा दो रास्ता होगा एक रेस्ट हमने लेफ्ट की तरफ ठीक है चलो रो अब रोड ही है ना तब तक चलो रोड पे चलो यार यार इसके लिए ना टायर्स बेटर चाहिए आई डोंट नो व्हाई यू यू आर एडमिट कि टायर से कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता टायर हो गए तो ग्रिप मिलती है इनमें यार बाइक आगे प्लो करती है हमारे स्किड मार रहे हैं उस पर टायर यार रोड टायर बड़े बड़े बोल्डर्स कहाँ से आए हैं यार ये कहाँ से आ रहे हैं ये बीच में ना पानी का रास्ता बना हुआ है वो देख उधर लेक के बीच में एक आइलैंड सा बना हुआ है यार नहीं नहीं मेरा ऐसे ही आ रहा है देख शॉर्ट यहाँ से देख अलग सा बीच में बना हुआ है यार वॉट इज दैट लैंड मास यही से उतार दे एंड रिमेम्बर डेट मोमेंटम इज योर फ्रेंड बट वॉट अ ब्यूटिफुल राइड इट इज यार परफेक्ट वे टू स्पेंड अ मॉर्निंग सीरियसली हाँ इट इज गोइंग लेफ्ट टूवर्ड्स दैट साइड सीनिक व्यू यार कैसे एकदम फ्लैट चल रहा है so this is one mountain range उसके बिल्कुल flat out है till the lake है ना उसमें बीच में road they have carved the road out of it यार this is a road ना जहाँ पे bullet का thump बड़ा अच्छा लगता है it's a meditative state of mind riding a bullet bullet है ना वही feeling आती है यार मतलब it's so strange कि bullet की क्या identity है सोच even after so many years it still holds on to its identity. They, they could have easily come out with something which is a high compression engine and something like that, right? I want a classic or a bullet which is 500cc. That is where the experience 
goes way beyond any sort of product. Tell people to go buy a public spec sheet. Yeah. Unrestricted view, all sides. Nothing beats the feeling of this air hitting your helmet. Yeah, वो तो कार में है ही नहीं ना बिल्कुल। वो feeling ही नहीं है। चाहे जितना मर्जी AC बोल लो, comfort बोल लो, you have to wear less clothes, you are more comfortable. All that is bullshit. इसके बाद जो feeling आती है ride complete करने के बाद वो गाड़ी चलाने के बाद कहाँ आती है? I don't think so. ये कैसा area है सामने यार? So the lake has gone to the other side of the mountains. ऐसा भी हो सकता है मे बी ये पहले कभी वाटर बॉडी हो जिस तरह से जितनी बीच वाला एरिया लुक एट हाउ ग्रीन इट इज इट सीम्स लाइक इट वॉज समर्ज अंडर वाटर एट सम पॉइंट इन टाइम लेफ्ट ही लेना पड़ेगा यहाँ से राइट गोज इन टू चुशुल ओके बेट यू दिस वुड है रिवर यार मतलब लेक पार्ट ऑफ द लेक डेफिनेटली लुक एट द ग्रीनरी एंड किस तरह से पानी फ्लो कर रहा है इधर 25 किलोमीटर था फ्रॉम मिराक चुशुल हाँ 25.4 किलोमीटर था चुशुल जंक्शन रियर ट्रायर प्रेशर ये क्या था पंचर हो गया क्या यार टायर इज फुल सीरियसली वाइज आई होप इट्स नॉट अ बिग कट दैट्स द थिंग बस This is all part of the Chushul village, huh? Outer side. What the hell is this supposed to mean? I don't know. हाँ वो ही होगा पीछे वाला इसका parallel ही जा रहा है ये. Chushul से बाहर निकलने वाला रास्ता कैसा है अजीब सा बीच में से. Donkey road ही बनाई हुई थी अभी तक. They could have continued with it. But then they decided no. We'll give you some adventure. Actually, everyone who is coming here, a they are passionate about traveling, big time. They are not those normal travelers, and then they are also pushing themselves out of their comfort zone as well to pursue their passion. Hui 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 hui. The rocks. अब जगह दे दे भाई तेरी बहुत हो गई. अभी ओवरटेक कर रहा हूँ मैं से अब किया है मैंने <laughs> जगह वाइड हुई ना रोड पे आके मतलब यहाँ पे आ रहा है असली सैडलिंग का मजा प्रॉपर वाला गोइंग फ्रॉम चुशुल टूवर्ड्स हानले वॉट अ ब्यूटिफुल ट्रेल इट इज राइट से ना लेट्स गो स्लो एंड बी इन कंट्रोल्स ओके If you ride an adventure touring motorcycle, then this is one route that I would highly recommend. I'm doing this for the first time, and this route from Chushul towards Hanle, which also goes through the Rezangla War Memorial, is just amazing. Now we have just entered a sandy patch uh, after some big rock trail, and then the small gravel trail. A lot of stuff here to keep you entertained and. lovely location as you can see all around and all you need to do is just saddle on your motorcycle and soak in the views all around just a beautiful blissful ride blissful feeling of riding in the himalayas rezangla war memorial 10 kilometers Yo bro We are in the fourth gear doing easy 62 and saddling on this light gravel trail It's so amazing I mean is there a better feeling for anyone who loves to ride adventure touring motorcycles saddling on such trails just surreal and there was a sandy patch where I the front was starting to wash out Oh, we see a lot of bikers on this route. I can at least see about ten right now in front of me. The thing about riding in Ladakh, you need to ensure that you choose to wear a lot of layers while you are doing this trip. 
because the contrast in weather conditions is so much that it's very easy to take things lightly and fall ill in the middle of a ride so for example while we were doing uh, Changla yesterday it was a bright sunny day but just because of the altitude 17,000 plus feet I had to uh, you know add an additional layer between the merino wool liner that I'm wearing all this ride and include a winter liner over it and of course the riding jacket is anyways there which is something that is mid-season for me because I wear the climb Marrakesh jacket but at the same time while we are doing this route here from Chushul towards Hanle the weather conditions seem much more easier and I have reduced one layer so layering is the key when you are riding in such conditions and choosing some layers which will give you wind protection plus thermal insulation while being light as well I mean not adding that fluff between yourself and the riding jacket is something that you should invest in and trust me it will make life a lot easier what I'm wearing in the bottom part is significantly less than what I'm wearing in the upper part because the legs tend to get protected from the fairing of the motorcycle on the bottom half I'm just wearing a merino wool liner along with the climb Baha S4 pant that being said one thing that I would really recommend is investing in a merino wool liner I bought a merino wool liner set from Decathlon for 6,000 rupees maybe three years back I don't know what's the rate right now but it's one hell of an investment because it's uh, something that can last you at least four or five days easily without worrying about any orders that it might get from day in and day out riding along with that it's very light and something that works both in winters as well as summers कहाँ कहाँ क्या क्या बनाया हुआ है इधर ऊपर बंकर्स बने हुए हैं आई थिंक यार प्रॉपर बंकर्स बने हुए हैं हाँ राइट में हाँ वो बंकर ही तो हैं भाई ध्यान से देख सैंड सो वी हैव स्टॉप्ड जस्ट इन द मिडल ऑफ नोवेर एंड ऑन द राइट यू सी दोस बंकर्स ऑफ द इंडियन आर्मी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड आई एम प्रिटी श्योर ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड एज वेल देर वुड बी समथिंग टू यू नो मैच इट फ्रॉम चाइना एज वेल I'm not sure how far we are from the China border but the road that we are doing right now is called the line of actual control and one hell of a ride here something that I would strongly recommend what gear are you in? I am in 4th 4th and 50 kmph yeah yeah yes chal, I will ride leta. The rides, सही है यार रोड, so enjoyable. Deep breathing करो यहाँ पे, योगा करो योगा, bike पे खड़े होके, आलोम विलोम. Wow, amazing है. On your right, you see the Rezangla War Memorial, and look at the Indian flag, how it's fluttering so proudly. There is a totally different feel to it. I think we need to stop here. And go inside if we have to visit the memorial. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. This is one hell of a feeling. Seriously, यहाँ पे ही लग रहा है भारत माता की जय वाला feeling अपने आप आ रही है. Beautiful. So we are now entering into the Rezangla War Memorial. We have parked the tigers there. Apparently helmets are not allowed inside, but cameras are. So we'll be shooting this. I want to say something. Yeah. What, what do you want to say? Soldiers, yeah, Hello, sir. Same, sir. Yeah. What smart the grave, sir? One <laughs> <laughs> entry hogi, and I think we'll have to submit one government ID proof. So we have to submit one government ID here for the entry. <laughs> This is altogether a different feeling. I mean, till now we were riding uh, from Chushul to Hanle, and it was one of those normal 
scenic rides that we were enjoying but visiting this war memorial really changed our perspective about the ride today just something which is uh, has loads of history around it and uh, the briefing that was provided by the soldier Harbhajan Singh was amazing I mean we got to know everything about what has happened here and apparently 114 soldiers uh, were there who fought this 1962 war and out of that 114 uh, were not able to come back uh, a good part of the area was occupied by China during that war so there you see 13 pillars that represent the 13 battalion and that big India flag gives a totally different feeling here specifically in this part of the country and during the 1962 war what I was told was that the Chinese intended to occupy the complete Chushul area and the Chushul peak so that they can control the region the point that I showed you where you can see the bunkers which is just alongside this building uh, that is the Rezangla peak and that is why it is called the Rezangla war memorial and along with that this area has the Chinese bunkers that can be seen from here not sure how good the zoom is on the iPhone 11 but you see this one two three I'm just removing my wind my finger from here the three bunkers at the top one two three the autofocus is ruining it 